You want to get Journey Map in Minecraft 1.21.3, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Journey Map. It goes over everything you need to know, but we're going to do that in this video as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Journey Map button to go to Journey Map's official download page on CurseForge. On this page, what you want to do is go ahead and click on Files here, and you will find all of the Journey Map files for Minecraft that's pretty much ever been released for Journey Map. We're specifically going to be installing Journey map for Forge 1.21.3. So we want to make sure we select game version 1.21.3 here. And then we want to select the mod loader Forge. And this is what we want. The most recent one here because it's going to have the least amount of bugs, be the most up to date, all of that stuff. Go ahead and click on the three dots here and then click on download file. And the file will begin downloading after a few seconds. You will need to keep or save this file, but while it's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out, so don't struggle to host your Minecraft server. Start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Now, at this point, Journey Map is ready to be saved or kept, so we can go ahead and do that, and we can move on to getting Forge. Forge is the mod loader that's actually going to allow Journey Map to work in Minecraft. Of course, we have our in-depth guide link down below, and that will take you here. Once you are here, scroll down, click on the Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. Here we want to select 1.21 on the left hand side and then select 1.21.3 right like so. Then under download latest click on installer and that will take us off the ad focus for STOP! Put your hands in the air, don't click anything on this page, just wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right, but do not click anything else on this page except the red skip button that appears in the top right. When you do, it will go ahead and start downloading Forge, as long as Forge is in the title right here, which it is, we can keep or save that file. Now, finally, we can minimize our browser. And what we want to do is move everything we've downloaded to our desktop, in this case, Forge and Journey Map. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to actually be starting off with Forge here. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if you don't have Java, it's probably because you need Java 21. In the description down below, there's a link to Java 21, and that goes over everything you need to know to get Java up and running in Minecraft 1.21.1 and for Minecraft mods and servers. You may also need to run the jar fix though. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and then we'll be able to install Forge. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the Forge installer here, where just make sure Minecraft and Minecraft Launcher are closed, and then click Install Client and click OK. The reason this wouldn't work from here is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. If that's the case, just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be able to install Forge right like so. Finally, it will come up and say successfully installed Clamp Profile Forge. Click OK and we can delete the Forge installer. Now it's time to install Journey Map. To do that, open up the Minecraft installer. In the Minecraft launcher here, what we'll want to do is make sure Forge is selected. If it is by default, you can go ahead and click Play here and click Play again. If not, go up to Installations up the top and make sure Modded is checked. If Mod is not checked, Forge isn't there. If you check Modded, there it is. If you still don't have a Forge 1.21.3 installation, go ahead and click New Installation here. I'm going to name this SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends with or without mods, but you can name this anything that you want. I'm then going to click the versions drop down box here and select release 1.21.3-forge right like so. I'm also going to change the resolution so we can see better once we get in game, but at this point we can go ahead and click create and now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly is 1.21.3-forge and then we can click play on that and play Minecraft with it. That's the hard part, getting Forge. The easy part is once Minecraft's open with Forge, is installing the mod. It's super easy. Let me show you. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that's from the Minecraft main menu. Click Mods, and then Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Drag and drop Journey Map from your desktop into the Mods folder, right like so. And when we go back to Minecraft, it's not here. It's not going to be here. You need to click Done and quit Minecraft, and then reopen up Minecraft using that Forge installation. You've got to play Minecraft with Forge in order to have mods like Journey Map. As you can see, we are playing with our Forge installation there, and when Minecraft is open, we will be able to see in the Mods menu here that Journey Map is in fact installed. We can also use it on a server. One of the cool things about Journey Map is that it will work on things like simple game hosting servers, even if it's not installed on the server itself. This is just a vanilla server 
but when we join it, Journey Map will work because it's storing everything locally. It'll even work on servers like Hypixel, but be careful. It might be against the rules. Even on Hypixel, I don't know, but it, will, it can't be against the rules if you don't own the server, so check that. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and press J here, and Journey Map will open up, and it will start to load everything in around us as we fly around. It'll fill out the map more. It's amazing to have installed, but it's really cool because I can see this village from the top down, see all the villagers, things like that, all of our animals, all of that in this world ready to go. You can also use waypoints, so we go ahead and create new waypoints, for example. You can see the different ones that are here by default. But if we wanted to go ahead and create a new waypoint, we could do that by coming in here and clicking the plus button up here at the top. And we could just name this like spawn, for example. And then we could uh, change it to like yellow as our color, submit, save. And now if we go back in game, we'll be able to see that that waypoint is there. Well, once we make it active, which can be done by coming in here, making sure that this is enabled. There it is. Spawn is there as our waypoint and uh, phantoms are everywhere. Anyway, there you have it. That's how you can get Journey Map in Minecraft 1.21.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And, uh, well, it's been me and Willow the Corgi <laughs> bringing you this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We're out. Peace.